The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 13th of January, and, oh, January, 13th of March, February. And uh, <clears throat> what, we, what we have is the Dow down 528 to 38,000. I'm going to run these quickly. Dow's down 1.3%, um, down 533 at 38,261. The S&P is down... 1.4% uh, uh, down 73 at 4948. The QQQ and the only way that this market could change trend was if there was a severe what I said to subscribers from opening call, um, especially over the last couple of weeks in my uh, one hour overview every weekend looking at what's going on where we are what we're looking at is that within the context of um, speed, we're going to have to have something that happens really suddenly so that the change of direction is so quick that most fund managers just didn't even have a chance to get into the new position. And that would weigh to the downside as they keep getting in to try to short. We haven't got that yet. This is just the first day of a turnaround. It's not even the first day. It's not even the first hour. It's just the 37 minutes that we've been into this position uh, in the, since the market opened. So down seven at 428.28 after the 439.14 high yesterday in the QQQ. Very sharp, 1.6 down. IWM, which looked like it was trying to become a bit of a leader, couldn't take out the 205.49 high of December at that peak D. Remember, Chapman Way peak Ds. Um, and what happened is uh, it is down 3.8%, down 7.91 at 195, this is a huge failure. Days young, but so far. Uh, let's go to the IWB. IWB is the, is the Russell 1000. Went to a doji candle peak F yesterday, and that was the leader. It was doing so well. Uh, here we go, F with a tiny little doji. You know, you've had such a huge move, and then you have this tiny little doji candle. with a, well, It's a doji candle, meaning it opened and closes at about the same uh, level and uh, what happens is it it now has failed to the downside. Yesterday's high was uh, 277.19 and it's trading right now 271 down 4.31. Uh, the IW uh, I, I don't have to get there. Let me just go on. I want to show you gold. Gold down very sharply down 29 almost 30 bucks. Big failure. Uh, look at silver. Silver. Uh, down sharply, down 0.70 at 22.06. Why is this not updating? Please update. There you are, go. Um, uh, down very sharply. Hasn't quite taken out the low of the 22nd of January, 22.040. Uh, so far, the low is 22.060. Uh, it's going to get there. Not good. I had mentioned yesterday that high-grade copper was failing. And it did have a little bit of a bounce yesterday. It gave back some of the bounce today it's at 3.71. Hey, this is going to be very important. We're looking at um, bonds. The bonds are down really sharply, down one and a half points at 118 and a half. Mm, not good action. Do the same thing for TLT. For those of you who don't get bonds, but you look at TLT. TLT is the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund. Took out the 93.10 low of January, and now it's down at 92. Point uh, sixty nine <clears throat> TBT is going to the upside. That is the bonds, uh, the inverse iShares Treasury bond yield. And I've been talking about this for some time. I said to think that there isn't inflation. Everywhere you go, there's an incredible amount of inflation. Even inflation came back to the um, to the DBA, which is the agricultural fund. I don't know. I don't know how it did that. But look at this. Look at that screamer from twenty point thirty nine to uh, 22 in the 22s, almost a 10% gain. Um, so we're not getting de deflation the way the Fed would like it. But uh, it, it's probably headed that way over a period of time, but not just yet. I, I wanted to show you crude oil. So remember, I spoke about this. Uh, I said, this is the Chapman wave right here. 
I, I do want to change it. I'm still calling it for the day. Uh, let me go INDU. The dark news cloud cover. I'm really, I'm going to call it the dark news index. Um, in fact, I'm changing it right now to the Channel Wave Dark News Index. I do have enough. There are components to be able to call it an index. Oops, make it a lowercase. Uh, and DX. And that's that index using the Dow daily chart uh, said that I'm going to include this as a gray and I'm almost sure that it's going to with bonds go, bond yields going up. I've been talking about for a little while. Bond yields going up, the dollar going up, uh, crude oil not really going up that much but, but kind of in the higher range. I think this is now I can start to talk about this. I finally can change that color. Uh, the fill color is going to be the same as always, which is white. There it is. Okay, so we're back to where we are. Uh, dark news cloud cover from the uh, 2nd of February. I've been talking about this. Now I think I can talk about it a lot more uh, coherently. Uh, that is what... Uh, I, one of the things that was really important that I've been talking about for quite some time is that for the, this market to really change course, it need, you need to see 48 to 56 S&P points down, almost at the open. You've got to see the Dow down over 380 to 425. You've got to see a, a, a inter, um, an intraday rally attempt and then close at the low and then repeat the same thing the next day. And it has to go on for about two or three days. Then you've got this. And what is this? This is what I drew in my Chapman Wave um, book CD from way back 2005. Identify the trend and then the tra and then trade with the trend. I've got someone I, in the end that I'm looking at said I'm going to try to play something to the upside. And I'm just saying to you, we don't really have a trend change right now. Um, but look at what we've got. You see, look at the price going up and look at this big arrow going down. It says shorting all the way up. Uh-oh, wrong trend. However, if you're able, if you're very nimble, you can do these short-term trades to the downside, but the main trend will save you. If you're long and you get these little pullbacks, you can survive them, you'll be, you'll be looking good. On the way down, you can go, uh, you can go long but it has to be very short term because the trend is on the way down. Doesn't the arrow look that horrible? Now look at the arrow. Whoops. Doesn't the arrow look down? Doesn't the arrow look absolutely correct? You're trading with the trend. You're trading with the 10. The tide is going out. So you want to be short. The tide is coming in. So you want to be long. You've got the MACD doing the same thing, the stochastic. This is, this is the way it should be. However, that doesn't mean to say, for instance, we were trying to trade the trend because timing is very important, trying to short uh, the SMHs via the SOXS. We did have a little success, and then we had a, a couple of uh, very uh, short-term failures. Um, and I wanted to yesterday at 3.20 in the afternoon, I was going to say, let's buy the SOXS. And then I thought, you know, I've done it once before uh, in today. And I always find that uh, people... You can't keep doing it. Unfortunately, that was the perfect time because it is up about 15% from that level. However, we have short positions and we're very satisfied with that. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. Dow's out 5.30. And we were, I was asked the question, Is there? do I see signs of deflation? Well, if you look at the weak continuous contract from the high that was made two years ago, up in the one, the fifth is a continuous contract, up in the 1500s, we are down at 6.02. Uh, I mean, this is very, very weak. If you're looking at soybeans, we were up at the um, 140s, and now you're at, uh, sorry, 140, at 1408, 1410 area, and now you're at 1191. So holding quite well in the monthly chart, weekly doesn't look very good, and the day looks terrible. If you're looking at the corn, the corn is also down at the bottom. In fact, it's, it, it's fading completely, and that corn is trading right now uh, well, it's up two and three quarters or three right now, but at 4.33. But it was a 6.40. It's been cut in half in just uh, since July of last year. Um, not very good. And if you're looking at soybeans, this is all part of the DBA, which we are still long. DBA is the DBA Agricultural Fund. Um, however, I couldn't even understand how DBA acted so well. This is SM. What is SM? Uh, soybean meal. Oh, that looks even worse. Um, if you're looking at, I'm sorry, if you're looking at the SB, which is a sugar, SB right now, holding very nicely. And for some reason, I think sugar, the way it's weighted, seems to always help the DBA, DBA Agricultural Fund, that it is made a peak E of the double top yesterday, and now it's down 6 cents at 21.99. So all I can say is that looking at this, the DBA Agricultural Fund, I'm not sure how it works, but this is up near the highs. 23.01 was the high in May of 2020. We've been long since 13. All I can say is that this is really strange, but strange is what I'm looking at, and that says that the agriculture, it tells me that there hasn't been a translation. And let's look at, what is it? Oh, I, I love that stock, just looking at it, but I've been, never, never owned it. Um, in the food area, I'll, I'll think of it in a moment. In the defensive area... Oh, I'll get it. With an S, I think it is. Uh, is it SIG? No, it can't be. I'm, I'm not going to guess. Anyway, SIG is what? A Signet Aberdeen? No, that's not what, not what I'm looking at. It. Oh, GIS. GIS. I knew it would come to me. I know the symbols. I never remember the name. GIS. Look at this. This is General Mills, Cheerios, Annie's, and other foods. Down the look, up in 90s, just a, a beginning of 2020. Uh, no, middle of 2023. And here it is at 62. 
uh, cut by you know almost a third. And so I don't know what's going on. All I can say is that it will help at some point. I do see a deflation at some point. But wow, we were talking about they were talking about insurance policies, etc. In the den earlier on. I mean, there's been there's a lot of inflation. Rents. I mean, there's a lot of inflation out there. Okay, I want to get back to something that I wanted to talk about. An ANET comes out with earnings. It's 292.66 yesterday, an all-time high. It had a whole bunch of round numbers, 260, 265, 260 again, 282. Yesterday was the low, 282. Uh, it, opened at, it opened at the low. It went all the way to 292.66. And today, it came down to 255.94. I don't know. I'm, I've been talking about these round numbers. I've followed round numbers not for years, but for decades. I'm not sure yet what it means, but it tells me that there's hysteria of people wanting... Look, even the... Even the, if I can actually, I, I never remember the symbol. This is one of the few symbols I just never remember, RSP. RSP is the um, S&P 500 equal weight ETF. Has a round number yesterday open, screams up to 160.53, 159, goes to 160.53, and is trading out 156. Um, so... Uh, I can just go through CDNS. I, I, I don't know if I even put it in. Uh, CDNS. Nah, what, what's going on here? Yeah, makes a leg D yesterday. It goes to 315.70 and had, um, it had a round number. Uh, yeah, 311 the day before was the round number. It's trading right now 294.88, down 11.70. Um, Mindy, M-N-D-Y, I get asked about an Annette, A-N-E-T, and Mindy a lot. <clears throat> um, had 197 round number yesterday. Day, be day before, it had an all-time high, uh, not sorry, an all-time high, a recovery of 239.22. Is trading at 215.38, up 3.37. So Monday.com, task and client management, event planning, gap down, but now it's doing quite well because of earnings. So I, I want to follow these things. Arm, did I do arm? Arm is, um, uh, arm is, arm holdings, PLC in the semiconductor, had a round number all time high of 164 yesterday. Where's the trading? 131, uh, you know, 30 something points off that high. Um, I want to go through these. I didn't do that the other look. ML, it's everywhere. I thought it would just be maybe in the tech sector. No. Um, 528 was the, the low, I think, yesterday in Marietta, modern Marietta materials, building materials, cement, ready mix, concrete, and asphalt. Goes to a new all time high at five. So it has a round number 528 low has a high of 541.81. It's trading right now at 525 under the 528 round number. Um, Fang, I mean, all over the show, Fang is the, this is the oil, this is the integrated oil, no, this is the uh, diamond uh, energy. So this is in the service area. Look at this, has a round number 160 low yesterday. Oh, was it a low? No, open. Opens at 160, and then it, because of the takeover, and screams up, and today is hitting a high of 169.66. But that's what I'm talking about, that even when you get a takeover, somebody grabs it with a round number because they just have to own it. So what are the repercussions? I have a guess as to what the repercussions are. But, you know, guessing is one thing. Looking at the actual market is another. So... Uh, GGG, Graco, I've followed this for years. We've, been, we've owned it just briefly once, and I talked about it as a, as a pave. It's part of the um, infrastructure. This is fluid management products and packages. Um, has an 88 round number, so it makes a new all-time high yesterday of um, 88.31, and it has an 88 round number open. It has a high yesterday of 88.25, and today it made a low 
of 86.06. So how these things are going to play out, I think, is really important. On a very short-term basis, the way the speed of the, of the, the pullback occurred just at 8.30, there was a momentary spike to the upside and then a whoosh to the downside. It says that so many fund managers must have missed completely doing any shorting or even any buying that I think we will see a little bit more round numbers, number one. And number two, they will try. There should be a rally at some point. Let's see intraday. We go to the E-mini. Yep, a nice bounce off the 49.60 uh, low of the day. I don't know if that was the exact low. Uh, we're trading at 49.76. First decent attempt at a rally here. Uh, well, second, I'd say. Second attempt at a rally. And these rallies you're going to see are going to be meeting up with uh, uh, resistance as folks who missed the short try to short. We'll see if they short. The Currencies, down. commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey folks, if there's a bounce right now in the E-mini, which is now down only 62 at 49.80, this 200-period uh, moving average of 49.87, that's where I think you might see a little stoppage. You've got that in the one-minute chart. <clears throat> uh, the uh, five-minute is way up where the, the gap down started this morning. I'm not sure if we're going to fill that. <clears throat> Remember, this is a process, and the process says that you've got to do what you've got to do based on your technicals, and then the market has to uh, either it's going to, I, I'm not going to say cooperate. It's not going to, you, you're not the leader. It's going to dictate, and then you have to cooperate. But in the meantime, 
I want you to look at a couple of things. So GGG is Graco. I want to finish these out. Last week, I wanted to finish them. I just kept skipping because there were so many, and I thought, eh. But no, eh is not the word. Bots. Bots is the... Um, Bots is the Global X Robotics and AI ETF. Now, of course, AI, our AI stock has been Microsoft. We got that as a Dow, S&P, QQQ, um, and uh, XLK, and an AI. Um, it really, that, that was our kind of our benchmark. We, we bought it down to the 338 level. <clears throat> been taking a little bit off. We've had it as trading positions. We've made money. And then yesterday I said, uh, before, before the open, I said, let's take a little bit off, just a tad off. And we got it within about pennies of the all-time high. And watching it, and it dropped from the 420 area today, it, it hit 405. I mean, that's a big move in just a couple of days, but it's had big moves to the upside. So in the meantime, you've got to consider that some kind of profit-taking is important. So um, GBTC, this is fascinating to me because GBTC is the... Um, GB Bitcoin Investment Trust is trading right now down to dollar fourteen at forty three sixty nine. It had a forty three round number when it went to a recovery high yesterday to forty five point. Uh, it had forty three round number open, went to forty five point oh three, and it's trading right now at forty three sixty eight. I'm watching this closely. I have this in a, in a leg C, maybe a peak C today. But if you're looking at Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin has also pulled back. Here again, I'm also calling it Alexa, and I have to because that was the start of a new move to the upside over there. And if you take it out, basically you start fresh. So this should be, and that just says Bitcoin could go higher, could slightly go to a slightly higher leg D. Um, that's the, And now I just wanted to finish here. So look, even CRM, salesforce.com, unbelievable. Hits an, uh, hits an all-time high. That was at 11.25 back in November of 2021. I think I spoke about this the other day. Plummers down to the 120s. Has a fantastic run. It goes to 295.24. Uh, what, 20, 20, less than 20 points of the all-time high? That's amazing. And then yesterday, what does it have? It has, look at this. This is the candle right here. It has a 291.00 high on the day. It has a 287.00 around number, low on the day. That's the entire candle after making an all-time high. Those things don't just happen by chance. I mean, I've been following around numbers. I, I can't tell you from when. I can just forever, decades. And to me, the number of round numbers says to me that fund managers – I don't think it's little guys. I think it's a fund manager are so desperate to get these positions either in or out that there's a degree of hysteria. I'm going to gonna have to call it round number hysteria. And to have a 291 high and a 287 low, and today it's down uh, five, uh, 281 below all of those round numbers. I don't know. And if the weekly chart is only at a leg C, maybe a peak C this week, it says on the short term, I have to take note of all this. I believe I just heard a ping in my ear, and that ping says I have to go to, um, there we go. Yes. Oh, we got Brent and Martinez. Brent, how are you? I'm doing well, Basil. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I, I'm calling about, I've been, you know, I, I have your newsletter, so I've been following just, you know, the potential to, do a short, and so I went ahead and did it yesterday, and I did it based on the fact that the I, I follow the VIX just like you do, of course, you know, pretty much daily, and I just noticed that when the market was making its highs, the VIX was still up and up a decent amount, more than you would expect. And, and, and of course, as, as the market turned, it of course went up even more. But the, even at that point, at the highest point of the market. It was still up, so that was enough. I felt comfortable to go ahead and take a position, and it was really just insurance. And I, I went with the the spy that you recommended short, and I just I bought the April 11 calls, and they were very inexpensive. They were you know 32 cents or whatever a, a contract, so it was something that was a kind of oh, a low cost the insurance puts? policy, really. The calls or the puts? The calls. 
Okay. Because it's already a short. I'm buying the short. Oh, you're buying. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really want to say what it is buying, because it's in your newsletter. So. Correct. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, just for a moment, there, I, I, I was confused, but uh, because of the, it was, folks, this is the spy. This is what we have the short term spy, three times short the spy. And uh, therefore, if you're buying a call, you're buying a call which is long on the, the long short position. So the whole index itself is short. And you just go long. It's what so now, what used to happen years ago. You had to go short. You had to find the stock. It was a big deal. In fact, the last time when we shorted the spy itself, the SMHs, um, some people can't find them. Some some brokers don't have them. Some others do have them. It's really tough. Um, and sometimes it's a little easier to actually just go short. And sometimes it's a terrible thing. You don't want to. You have to put up capital. You have to do a lot of things to be short. It's so much easier here. You just buy the position. They've done all the work, and you just handle it. And then you put in your stop because you always have to have a stop. There's no guarantee, and that's just the best way to do it. And even now, with the Dow market so low, um, the point being that you've got to watch. For instance, let me just do this while you're on, uh, Brent. So the TLT has plummeted. So that means the yields. Let's go to the TNX, which is the 10-year yield. So the 10-year yield is skyrocketing today, and it's a, I, I have to call this, I probably have to call it an alternate account D slash B, but it really looks more like a B, meaning that yields can go higher for a little longer in the daily, maybe not so much in the weekly, which is in leg C. That's number one. Number two is if you're looking at the dollar, and I haven't done that at all today, the dollar is up sharply. It's up 69 ticks at 104.82. It's gone to the six, yeah. It's already the 60% retracement right there. So that's in the weekly chart, leg A. And it's a leg C. I'm calling it in the daily chart. So I have to look at the peripherals and say, together with all the round numbers I'm looking at, that means it's that means people, are, the fear of missing out is so potent that even fund managers are slapping, I mean, every to get it on the equal weighted S&P on the index is just, I mean, it's really tough to do that when you're trading an index. This is not one single stock. This is a whole bunch of stocks, 500 stocks, and you have to get a round number. So all I'm saying is that <clears throat> now let me just also put this in the in the pie here. The VIX index screaming to 15 is right now at 14.88. It hit 15.06. I hear the music. Actually, Brent, if you, do you mind holding on a little bit because you are in positions on the short side? I, I would like just to show you the type of thing I'm looking at. It might help you in terms of um, what you do with it. Can you hold on? Yes, I will. Definitely. Okay, folks, we'll be right back. Dow's down 480. S&P's down almost 60. We'll be right back with Brent. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back. We're back with uh, Brenton Martinez, California, and we're looking at the VIX index and the VIX index in the weekly chart made a peak A, then a peak B and a peak C, kind of a double top. But I do not count in the Chapman wave. No, I always do the notation, but the notation in the VIX index, it's, it's an emotional response to um, what's happening in the market. I've never taken it all that seriously for Chapman wave notations, even though even in this case it made a peak D um, back in mid, yep, mid January. Um, and then it pulled back quite sharply. Now, what I am a little concerned about is that the move that we've got now in the Dow, down almost 500 points, the S&P down almost 60. <clears throat> Let's just imagine that's that's kind of like a, a normal correction of two days or three days. We've just done it in uh, an hour and 15 minutes. So the fact that the VIX index moved up so quickly just tells me that I get very nervous when I see the VIX index, when the market is coming off a high, either the Dow or the S&P or the QQQ, coming off a high, and immediately the VIX jumps skyrockets. That just says to me, that response is just too emotional and too quick. So this is what I'm going to be looking at. <clears throat> There's a chance that today we have a rally attempt a little later on, it fails, and then there's another rally attempt and that actually succeeds quite nicely in the day. I'm just imagining now. And the and the market closes very much off the low, but still down pretty sharply. I want to see the volatility give back a chunk. I want to see it go back down to the 1410, 1390 area as that happens <clears throat> and stay there, even though there might be a weak session tomorrow, because I have to see in the general market a couple of days to get the trend change that I was showing just a moment ago when I showed the arrows uh, when, when you get a turnaround in the market, that the trend is really important because you want to be able to um, be, look at the tide and say, if I throw a piece of wood in the water, uh, 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 some driftwood into the water, if the tide is going out, no matter what happens, that driftwood is going to be pushed out. If the tide is coming in, no matter what happens, that driftwood is going to be coming in. I want to be able to identify the trend and have it be there for more than an hour or more than a day. It needs to be there as a trend. And I think we deserve that right now. And then we could get maybe a rotational thing. So the 15.59 level on the volatility index is a 200 period exponential moving average. It hasn't been there. <clears throat> since it came down after going and holding uh, way above it for most of uh, late September into uh, uh, that November high, and then in, sorry, the October high, and then in November it plunged. So it hasn't been there, and that was way up at the, it was at this, that point it was at 17.80. Uh, so I need to see it start to treat the 200 period moving average as a magnet. So I'm just, you, you called and you spoke about the VIX. So I'm going to give you my, my theory on what I'm looking at on the VIX 
to be able to sustain a down move. So um, if it if there's another move tomorrow that is pushes the VIX into the 15, 15.50s or higher, I want to see the Dow and the S&P down like it is right now. If that doesn't happen, that's just saying too much too quickly, be ready for some bounces in the market. And that's where we will see whether or not we're going to get a rotation and maybe the sectors that were weakened, I'm including IWM, ARKK, that's Kathy Wood, it's an innovation fund, down very sharply today. Um, if they were holding well, if they hold, this is today, Tuesday, by Thursday, if the ARKK is actually trading in the 50s, it's at 48.53 right now, and the IWM is trading, it's at 196, trading in the 199 to 200 area, that says to me, okay, we could get some kind of a rotation. So that's what I'm looking at, the VIX index. Um, I, I don't like it when it goes so quickly, so 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 far. It has to hold, and it has to hold almost through the through the close, and it has to be high tomorrow for me to be convinced that uh, buying isn't going to come in and be sustained at least for a couple of days. I hope that helps you. Oh, it does, Basil. I just... <clears throat> to me, it was a, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice little hint of, you know, that there was going to potentially be some kind of a, at least, you know, short-term top and a chance to get in at a price I felt comfortable to do that. Now I've got a little cushion. That cushion could go away, but we'll see for the moment. At, at least it's you working. can handle we'll the see, trade see now. Yep. That's very good. Hey, thank you so much for calling. Congratulations. Call again. All right. Thank you very much, Bell. Have a you, great Brent. day. Take care. You too. So, folks, let me just do this. I um, uh, wrote it down here. Oh, the one, another reason why I want to do, uh, for subscribers, we have been short, uh, and we are in the money for the uh, short, the, uh, the Dow. We, this is shorter term, that is, just as a trade. <clears throat> We've had a position. But there was a chap wave Roman candle at a leg D at an all-time high. It happened to be a green candle, but the, the whole process stays the same. And I say to subscribers, if for any reason we're able to hold 60 minutes above 38, right there, 38.860, um, that's 38,860, uh, then there's a real good chance we're going to test, our, test yesterday's high. If we close underneath, sharply underneath this particular candle, that's a signal to say you've got yourself a chapman wave, a Roman candle. It happened to be green. Usually they're red, but this is a green one. And it's suggesting that the whole candle, and that means that the low of yesterday, which is Dow 38,628, the whole lower part which should be very strong resistance if there is a bounce. That's number one. And number two, I've been saying, I believe that in the millennial millennial, yes, millennium levels, that's 1,000 levels, that the 38,900s should be very strong resistance, maybe not even hitting 39,000 in this move, not just yet. The weekly charts all suggest we're going higher, but this is a very important digestive phase. Um, now, let's see. <clears throat> yes, so... Um, a question came in, and I want to get to this question right away. I've had terrible trouble with this particular ETF. It's the MJ, the Alternate Harvest <clears throat> uh, ETF cannabis sector. We once had it in the 12s, and a screen we made just a, a lot of money. We had it in both a short-term and a long-term uh, position, almost at the same level, but I had two separate positions. I didn't even take the short-term off. It just kept going higher and higher. That was this move over here. And then we just didn't touch it for ages. I said, I think it's done. I did say the same thing about GBTC, where we did very well. And then we never got back in. So that was the move that went from the 12s. Oh, there it is. From We, we were in a 12, somewhere around there, and it screened up to the 34 level. So uh, then we just left it. And now what we're looking at is we got in again. And we took a little money off of the big bounce of this double top at peak D. And I had said to subscribers in my in my overview, I said, you know, I have a tough a tough time with this because I think at the level we got in at 
which was um, MJ, we, we bought um, a small position at $3.51. It's trading at $3.45 right now. It could go down, but I think it'll be back then. It'll be even higher later in the year. What do we do? I'll be back. We'll talk about that. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So with MJ, which is Alternative Harvest ETF, um, we took a 4.5% gain on a very small little bit on the way up to give us a bit of a cushion. So I'm staying with that cushion for a subscriber who asked about it. Um, I... Over the year, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that this is going to get to the sixes or higher. But in the meantime, it could chop around. I, 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 
Let's just stick with our stop for the moment. I'll do an analysis tonight. Uh, SMCI in the uh, Tiger YouTube, yes, mentioned um, it had an 810 all-time high round number yesterday. It had a 750 round um, um, round number open. And what is the high today so far? 800.00. I this is. There are people that are fund managers that just have to get in, have to get out. That's the hysteria. I'm now calling it round number hysteria. So we've been watching this very closely. And NVIDIA, NVIDIA, where's that? Trading 726 round, uh, opens at a 704 round number, had a 733.00 round number high today. I have never seen this before. Uh, well, I have back in uh, the year 2000. Uh, have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. And I'll be back with Tom a little later this afternoon. Have a great day.